CJ Wilson here, coming to you uh, from Thor Parts. Going to do a walk around of our latest creation. This is uh, a 2010 Hummer H3. It's got a solid axle up front and spring over on the rear. And this build is a little different from previous ones that um, we've done. This one is using a Toyota FJ60 steering box. Uh, it has ram assist. It's coil spring with outboard shocks. The front shocks are 8 inch travel Fox IFPs. And these are uh, just a generic shock. Uh, no real application, just an 8 inch travel. It has an eyelet on the top and bottom. Um, the front suspension is a three link. It looks like this. It's got a track bar. That's Dana 44 with 488 gears and electric Eaton locker. Um, we have a high <clears throat> flat top knuckle over here, but we're using low steer. This is the tie rod in the stock position. Um, drag link, and these are all one ton um, ends on, on the whole suspension using urethane bump stops and then back under here we're using ballistic fab joints on all three control arms custom front drive shaft with the Thor parts drive shaft adapter this is an alpha and uh, due to the V8 motor mount we have a shortened upper tower right here because of this motor mount and we have to make sure that our bump stops um, stop that before the collision hits on a on a hard bounce we have uh, worn lockouts and ABS hubs from Thor parts keeps all your dash lights happy uh, in the rear we have the same urethane bump stops we've done a spring over in the rear using a rough stuff kit these are from a late model Dodge truck. They're extended sway bar links. And then we're running uh, 10 inch travel shocks on the rear. And this is a factory locker with 488 gears. Overall, I'm real happy with this truck. Steers and drives very nice, handles well. It's a very mild build. You can see it's not all jacked up and uh, you know, at first glance, it's it looks maybe a lot like a, a Rancho lifted truck, but once you start looking a little closer, you see it is a solid axle, and you don't have the breakage issues that you uh, have with the stock IFS, and you get a chance to re-gear it. The V8, uh, this is a 5.3, and it seems to love the uh, 488 gears. It seems to work really well. It needs a... Uh, Probably needs a transmission reflashed to correct the speedometer and the shift points. But other than that, drives really nice. Using a custom steering shaft here from Borgensen, mated to the stock Hummer H3 intermediate shaft. I'm um, using a trail, trail gear dropped pitman arm for a Toyota forward-facing pitman arm. That allowed me to uh, move the front axle forward one inch from stock. And the only problem I see is that at full stuff, um, might want to take this and cut this back in case this gets into the tire. Not sure yet if that'll be a problem. Uh, because he's running uh, stock wheels, we're running uh, trail gear two inch spacers. It's a Toyota spacer, and then uh, I cut the centers of the hubs out on a lathe so that you can keep the factory hub caps and everything. Anyway, this truck's got about probably 75 or 100 miles on it, and we've just been sort of tweaking the alignment here and there and doing some, added the ram assist today, and we're out giving that a, 
a go through just to make sure everything's okay. Uh, seems to be working pretty good. So if you uh, if you have an H3 and you're if you're into off-roading and you've been having breakage problems, then uh, you might want to look into the solid axle. It, uh, it's a lot of work and it's kind of expensive, but when you're done, you got something unique and um, quite a bit more durable than the stock IFS. Um, so we're going to get this thing out of here and get ready to do the next one. Cheers.